Exploring idioms, take the air. Hello everyone, welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of idioms, specifically the phrase, take the air. Idioms are a fun and essential part of mastering English, and understanding them can really bring your language skills to life. So, let's get started and explore what, take the air, means. Take the air is an idiom that might sound a bit unusual at first. In essence, it means to go outside for fresh air, often for relaxation or health purposes. This phrase hails from a time when fresh air was considered especially beneficial for health. It implies a leisurely pace and a purpose of rejuvenation or enjoyment of the outdoors. The origins of take the air are somewhat historical. It was commonly used in times when city air was polluted and a trip to the countryside was seen as therapeutic. Today, the phrase is used more generally. You might hear someone say, I need to take the air for a bit, suggesting they want to step outside, maybe take a walk and clear their mind. To better understand how to use this phrase, let's look at some examples. One, after working all day at the computer, I like to take the air in the evening. Two, why don't we take the air in the garden, suggested grandma, wanting a quiet moment outside. Three, during his break, he decided to take the air to refresh himself. While take the air is primarily used in English-speaking countries, many cultures have similar expressions emphasizing the importance of fresh air. In some regions, this phrase might be altered slightly, like get some air or breathe some fresh air. The essence remains the same, stepping outside for a mental or physical health break. And that's our look at the idiom, take the air. I hope this video has helped clarify its meaning and usage for you. Idioms like this add color and depth to our conversations, and understanding them is a great step in becoming fluent in English. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll take the air sometime soon. Remember, learning English is not just about grammar and vocabulary, it's about embracing the rich tapestry of expressions that make this language so unique. See you in our next video.